to create a test runner let's first create another folder inside source test java and let's call it as test runner and inside this package we are going to create another class and let's call it as test runner class can we have multiple test runners yes so that is why i have created a folder or package and inside that we are adding a test runner in case we want to add another test runner we can add it inside the same package that's it we do not have anything inside the class all we need is we need to add two annotations over here one is run with that is cucumber dot class okay and we need to import this run with that's from j unit and also we need to import cucumber from io dot cucumber dot j unit also we need something very important that is cucumber options and we will talk about cucumber options in detail in the next section but over here we will simply add two options and before we do that let's import cucumber options from io dot cucumber dot j unit okay so what did we do over here we add a first annotation that is run with cucumber dot class so we are saying we want to run this runner with cucumber class and another thing is we are going to add some options and we are going to see in detail what are the different options what is the benefit of using these options and all for now let's just add two options over here first option is features this option specifies where features files are kept so in our project feature files are kept inside the features folder over here so all we are going to specify is the folder name so if the folder is right under the main folder that is cucumber we can just specify the name of the folder so that is features okay that is the first option and when we add multiple options we just add a comma so comma another option that we want to add that is called as glue okay i know it's a why they call it as glue i really don't know but it means where the step definitions are kept the second option glue specifies where the step definitions are kept for the features which are the scenarios that we have written inside this feature files so where the step definitions are kept they are inside the steps package so we are going to simply say steps and that's it this is as good as hey guys if you like these videos you may also like my fully fledged courses on java selenium and cucumber bdd links are given in the description so do check out a simple test runner which will run all the features all the feature files basically which are there inside features folder and it will look for the step definitions for those scenarios inside the steps package so let's go ahead and run just right click go to run as and junit test now remember this is a junit test runner so we need to run as junit test so when we run it it will run all the scenarios currently we just have one from this particular feature file and as you can see it has executed it this is the output over here it says i run one scenario three steps are passed and this actually is the number of seconds or milliseconds whatever it took to execute and also we have one more output tab generated over here which says jnit test whether it's passed or failed so it's green so it is passed and in any way we don't have much steps added much code added over here we simply have a sysout which prints something when a step is executed basically we'll see how to add selenium intelligence to this project and how to automate and create this as a whole project uh, but for now let's just quickly revise how to create a test runner we created a package inside source test java that's test runner package we created a class we gave it a name as test runner is it important to give the same name no we can give any name it's okay this is just a standard that i'm using then first we created a run with annotation run with cucumber dot class this cucumber should be imported from io dot cucumber dot junit dot cucumber this particular class and cucumber options 
from again this particular class and right now we are using two options there is a bunch of options that we can use and we are going to use and that is going to be our focus in the next section so if you have any questions on any of the part so far whatever we have seen in these videos feel free to send me a message and i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you